Hey everybody, welcome back. This, this, uh, seems familiar. Yeah, we, um, we had a failed recording. Um, this is probably one of the only times that we've actually had, like, a failed recording for this for, series. For both of us to be a part of it as yeah. well. So, we're... So, we're gonna try this again. Um, um, Mr. Wright, so... What's going on with this case? Anyways, it's a complete horse and pony show. A real kangaroo court. And I'm a little confused by it. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, let me, uh, get you up to speed because that was basically like three chapters of Perversion the... Perversion of the law, Mr. Yeah. Wright. It's Detective, what's going on. Detective Bruce Goodman was stabbed to death at least after 5 p.m. on the 21st. Died in the prosecutor's parking lot and the police department's evidence room. What's this and the evidence room part? I mean, it's completely insane. A man can't die in two places at the same time. Well, he Unless can't. he had a twin. But it's never twins. The prosecutor's office and the police department are 30 minutes apart by car. Even though they don't look it when we began the game. You know, for it someone... looked like it was just a couple blocks down and someone could drag the corpse on. You know, for being someone that is uh, so... <laughs> so scientifically minded, you don't like sit down and go like, I wonder why it's uh, such a long period of time of he died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. Meaning he could... Uh, he could have died at 4, stuffed into his car, drove him over there, discovered at 5. It's like, for some reason, she just doesn't think that that's a and possibility. And Miles' ticket, uh, his parking, his parking Has to be stub, after 5, uh, five That 12. the body was put into the car, unless we're going to suggest that Miles is the one who killed him, that he absolutely could have gotten the body into his car much sooner. And how is this going to tie in? Is it the handprint? It can't be, because it's a kid's handprint. Does it? That would be, uh, that would be Gumshoe's handprint, though. So it's... So either the man has comically small hands, or that thing's much bigger than I, I think. <laughs> than I he, think. This man can't hold a whopper without feeling insecure about his hands. He's got these small hands. I can hold that burger for you. <laughs> that, that commercial is still ingrained in my head. I remember you, you like groaning and laughing at that the first time you saw it. Well, that's what we're gonna find out, or at least try to. Emphasis on try to. All right, let's do it. Let's Glad she's in good spirits. Pervert the law right back at them. Good thing she's in good. Um, glad she's in good spirits, but I'm not sure she's gonna be much help with this. Don't be so sure, Master Right. Get out of my head, you psychic. <laughs> No, no, no. That was your last assistant. And your next assistant. The one after that. <laughs> Look, we're in this together, right? The one after that after that is, uh, is a magician, but don't worry about that one. Yeah, she's more of in... How to put this? She's adopted. <laughs> I'll prove that these thick-rimmed glasses of mine aren't just for show, or that they're truly rose-colored. Let's go. Science awaits us. Yeah. Okay. You know, I really don't think we should worry about the police department mur murder. Except we absolutely should. Because it makes no sense for him to have been killed here. There wasn't even a body found there. Who cares? Now yeah, it's only our victim who has killed them both here and in the evidence room. No biggie, I guess. Besides, my sister would never do such a thing. I know it. That oil drum was it empty? The oil drum kicked over by the she uh, by the chef prosecutor. The chef chief prosecutor Poss was brimming with water. My sister erasing evidence at at the crime scene? Never. She would blow up the building instead. <laughs> Even though I she always love 
that any time one of these characters that we actually care about is accused of murder, of murder, it always should be way more serious and violent. That's like, Miles wouldn't have shot him once. He would have cut his head off. <laughs> he would have stabbed him. Emma really likes her sister. That's not it at all. I hate her. She's just... We're all professionals at what we do, and I trust her. Big words for a high school student, I guess. Oh, like trust. Big words like trust. Whether there was blood on the floor or not, the water in that oil drum washed it all away, I guess. <laughs> washed it all away. Ignore the strength of my science at your own peril, Mr. Wright. Huh? You're funny. You washed away all the evidence. That's impossible. What's the grid for? The situation calls for one thing, and that is luminol testing fluid. Only $9.99 with shipping. Blood is sticky stuff, you know? You can't just wash it away with a little bit of water. You have to use bleach. Or thermite. <laughs> Even if you can't see it, it's still there. But you could the... feed the victim to a pig, and that would er erase all evidence. And when are the police on these tests, though? Never trust anyone's eyes but your own, miss. Let's I mean, that's right. Except that that's not how court works. Just give it a just, just give it a try. Wait, why do I have to do it? Because I'm not the main character, and I'm a minor. I can't even drink yet. Are, are testing the blood stains, not drinking the stuff? Here, look, I'll lend you these glasses. Huh, that's weird. You had an extra pair, so we don't have to draw another model. Ooh, look at the red. Okay. Now I can't tell which car is Miles's, except that it's a sports car. To test for a blood reaction, just spray luminol on it. Like this, see? Yeah, I see it. Press the A button to spray it on. Okay, let's find us some blood stains. He looks over at the spray bottle and there's a big A on the, uh... Could've gotten trapped up there, who knows. You're just Any to blood down enough. here? That, that's the weird part. Yeah, because it would, like, streak down, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's only in one spot. In fact, you saw her coat. Yeah. It should be all over the oil drum. I can see her eyes shining from behind those glasses. So, this is a blood stain. Uh-huh. It's so... Uh... Emma, you're shaking. Uh, it's just, just... This is my first time seeing real blood, and I realize I'm squeamish, despite the fact I've seen blood before, clearly. Yeah, on the shoe. And in the picture. Scientific investigation and action, I guess. Okay, well, we definitely know that this is a blood stain. But doesn't it strike you as odd? Scientifically speaking, of course. Well, that's a lot about this. Scientifically. Oh, the perpetrator and Detective Goodman fought here, right? Don't you think there'd be a little bit more blood? A, li a little bit more blood. There should be a lot more blood. In fact, it should be all over the car. Look at all the blood on the sole of the victim's shoe. Yeah, it is pretty strange. If they fought here, then they'd have to have been more blood than this. Uh, hey, Mr. Wright. I'm gonna mark the floor plans when we find a blood stain, okay? Yeah, sure. I'm still- why is- why was his wallet dropped at the door? You know, we're probably gonna have to spray, like, right underneath. Because I want that door canvas. I want every part of that door just dissected science, science, scientifically. How did his wallet wind up so far away from the bod? From the body? It, then it looks over at Phoenix. He's, like, uh, spraying the bottle into his mouth going, Yeah, this is still pretty good. Is it alcohol or perfume? It's perfume. <laughs> he drinks the perfume. He's like, yep, that was perfume. I saved up my allowance to buy that. Thanks. So spray it willy-nilly. 
We can't be sure that the police will reveal all their evidence in court, so we need to hide it. Sometimes they fail to mention evidence that doesn't fit with their view of the case. So let's drive that head and evidence out into the light of day. Yeah! It feels like we're really investigating a crime now, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess I should spray this on anything suspicious. Huh. I wonder how that fluid of yours would react to a nice deli box. Is there blood on it? You can only trust your own eyes. Not bad, you two. This day-old deli box is on the house. That is day-old fish. That was probably not... It's aged right. Don't worry about it. I just realized... It's probably not refrigerated. No, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's age dried. Don't worry. It's like I making think... jerky, but, you know, with a lot less, uh, with a lot more flies on it. She has killed victims in the past. She Sorry. has killed suspects with food poisoning. So it's just that, that kind of lead doesn't really get my mouth watering. Uh, what's... Wait, how? Then I press X to spray. Why is there no blood around here? Uh, I guess we found a blood. <laughs> I'm just so concerned at the wallet. Because it feels like planted evidence. Let's see if it works and taint the blood on it. Hey, don't touch stuff that we don't need to be touching. I can't hear anything. My ears. No, my ears. Maybe it's due to, to, to the barometric pressure. What's your bad one about? Hey, what did you just say? See, you can hear just fine. The phone's broken. The phone's broken. Hmm. This must be from when Lana grabbed it. No, my sister isn't the murderer. But she did call you, didn't she? On her time of the crime. cell phone, yeah. No, she called her twice. Right? Huh. And her right hand is bandaged. Okay, so she was dialing with her right hand and then picked up the phone with it as well. Hey, just whose side are you on? Oh, this has nothing to do with taking sides. It really has nothing to do with taking sides. This means that Lana's hand had blood on it. It just didn't keep say getting worse. whose blood, but there is blood on it. And nowhere else but the car and the phone. Yeah, which is such a small amount of blood for, you know, an actual crime scene. Uh, no, a murder? You certainly put me in a tight spot today. My apol- um, yeah, my apologies, Miss Star, but, uh, no, 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 it's okay, it was my fault. Uh, everything was your fault. Oh, oh, we know. I witnessed everything from the security room right there, but I was afraid that I couldn't- I wouldn't sound convincing enough, you see. I was wrong to think that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry? Lying on the witness stand is the least of your concerns right now. So the fact she lied about absolutely everything. No part of her testimony at any point was genuine. Well, girl, don't forget what's important here. A dead man? Even if the police, even if the place I witnessed the events were, were from different, yeah. witness from were different, I still saw what I saw. Much like the body. I saw Chief Prosecutor Skye stab a man in cold blood in his testimony, and that testimony still stands. You. I swear on my honor as a detective then. A former detective. She still stabbed Goodman. I, I still can't believe that. 
I can't believe you would still lie. You know, I know this photograph has something important to tell us, but what? So you were you were a detective, weren't you, Miss Star? Yes, that was a long time ago. Well, two years ago. No matter how hard the criminal, uh, when they faced me, you killed them with your shoe. No, I just coughed. The, I just made them cough it up. Yeah, what's up with that? Well, they confess. Can you not understand clues? <laughs> they babbled like babies. You know. I may seem like a demon sometimes, but I could be an angel too. We've yet to see it. Well, I wouldn't doubt that, says Phoenix. It's like, I slept with a lot of people to get to where I am today, is what she's basically saying. Every day I dragged the dirt out of the mouths of the suspect after suspect. And for a long, they called me... The cough up Queen. Oh, and here I thought some, someone had gotten food poisoning from your lunches. And you were let go? Fired? I thought that I had found my dream job when I became an investigator, and if these prim and proper prosecutors hadn't let me go, I still would be one day. Well, maybe you should have done your job. Because I can't imagine her hiding evidence is a new development. It's all because of that incident. The SL6 incident. Wait, does she mean... present some evidence. Oh, that looks like a petrified piece of abalone. Quobalone. Abalone? Man, I have an entire fish on me. <laughs> a, a big fish, too. This is my attorney's badge. I think a uh, petrified piece of provolone would fetch more on the open market. But my badges are not for sale. Not yet, at least. I have one of those up until two years ago. Back when you were the cough up queen, right? We found this ID card, he uh, ID card here in the parking lot. Well, there's no mistake in that. It's the tech. It's definitely Goodman's. What? It's the same idea as the man who was killed in the police department. That's impossible, though. Wish I could be so sure. Yes. Same as the last time we talked to her? A body with Edward's knife stuck in it found in his car. I think he owes me his gratitude. Gratitude? Why, I think he if was... I hadn't witnessed the crime, yeah, Edward would be the Edgeworth suspect. Mr. Edgeworth would be the suspect, and it's looking kind of bleak, because after we're done smoothing out one of stuff, we're going, going to have to fix Edgeworth's connection. No, he's probably going to have an alibi where he was at the award ceremony and that's how we can prove that he wasn't there. Mm -hmm. But it's going to give us the option probably of accusing him for the murder. Still, it's strange. Why didn't our chief prosecutor have her own murder weapon ready? Because she wasn't planning on killing him. Man, that's like a really long part. Yep, still uh, nothing. Uh, let's try... The jog from... Oh. Um, what do you think about this? The SL6 incident is written on that knife, and on that note. Goodman. Goodman was the head detective on that case, you know. Really? Tell us more juicy information that the police chief certainly doesn't want us to know. That knife was evidence from that case, the murder weapon. It was due for transferal on the very day Goodman was killed. As I suspected, SL6 isn't over yet. Not yet, at least. 
Yeah, I think it could tell us more about the incident. Because it would probably help our case here. That's probably gonna be it. And the, uh... Going at the other angle from the... Drop that phone on the pavement. That's that's when you heard her talking about the muffler, right? Little did I know it was a trap. Red car's muffler and the prosecutor's red muffler. That's what Miss Sky really was trying to say, I wonder. Think about it, I could have taken that picture from the guard room. But even if I get flustered sometimes, you went straight to the crime scene. I rushed over the chain um towards the chain link fence and effort to stop the murderer. That's when I took this photo, yes. In other words, five minutes after Oh. In other words, five minutes after the crime. Yeah, you can even see there's like no blood on the floor even in the picture. That is very suspicious, which leads me to believe that he was not killed here. Wherever he died, it was not here and Angel is mistaken. Those five minutes are the whole problem. A hole in my testimony, as it were. Uh, there's more than a hole. It's like a gaping black hole-sized anomaly in your testimony. Listen, little girl, I've had um, testimony disregarded before. I wasn't going to have it disregarded again. Well, too bad. You went about it the wrong way. Just like that one time. That one time. The there SL9. we go. We I almost said the, the D... The, the DL6. The DL6. <laughs> that incident really opened my eyes to the truth. We're nothing to them. Disposable. Disposable? To who? Two years ago, it was the biggest case I had ever handled. The police and prosecutors were um, desperate for decisive evidence. So, oh. So they didn't solve it. On the contrary, it was solved quite cleanly. The criminal was caught and executed. Executed, huh? Yes, people die. Yes, the criminal got what was coming to him, and it doesn't even get any cleaner than that. The only problem was, he never did find decisive evidence. Not a shred. Wait, but the criminal was executed, right? On the basis of evidence of a sort. Made up evidence. What? You mean they executed someone with fabricated evidence? Now, when has that ever happened in real life? All the time. The best part came from several months after the trial. Every detective involved with the case was dealt with. Some were demoted to patrolmen, others found themselves out of a job. And you were one of those? Myself, and whether a person you may know well. Wait, could it be... Exactly. Detective Jake Marshall. I mean... Police Department Office uh, Security Detail Officer Jake Marshall. Yeah, what's up with Jake? Uh, what's up with Marshall? Is that why he drinks? As professional detectives, we investigated that case from every angle. From every I angel. I almost read it as that. <laughs> I would have done that on purpose. I could be your devil, or I could be your angle. Uh, it's still a great meme. I it love is. it. Jake was particularly determined, and then it was over, and he was demoted. However, he hasn't forgotten, and neither have I. 
You haven't forgotten the SL set. The SL9. That you probably executed the wrong person. There was another side to that case. A hidden side. And that's what we're after now. No one is on... No one up in their fancy offices can stop us now. What? They, they probably can. They can't arrest you. Those lunches you sell. There is only one reason I come to sell a, a lunches in this accursed office. I come here to meet with old friends. Boyfriends to help me investigate. This star's old boyfriends. How many exactly does she have? Just when all the detectives probably. in SL9 have disappeared, we find new evidence. There has to be a connection. So, Rookie. What? Seems like you're serious about investigating this case. We're not gonna take evidence from you at all. We yeah, can't sure. trust you. Then you should take this. Uh, Salisbury Steak Lunch? I know a certain guy who might help you if you tempt him with this meat. Ah. Thank you for telling us instantly which one to use it, use it on. I would have tried to give that to gum, to a gumshoe. Thanks, pal. I really needed something. And he starts eating the box. It's like, mmm, tastes just like Mother made it. <laughs> gumshoe can never catch a break. Uh, Miss Star, why are you trying to poison, to poison us too? Officer Marshall, is he, um, your... Are you in fragrante delicto? Why do you want to know? I was just wondering what happened to him. A long time ago when, when he was helping my sister do cases. He was so nice. He got along so well with my sister, it made me, it made me jealous. I'm kind of an, uh, an, an attention hog, and it's just the two of us. I clearly don't get out to meet other people. And he was nice to me too back then. This could be when Officer Marshall was a detective. Oh yeah, this would But be. now he's so cold. He's free he's freezing. Uh, having alcohol in your system does that, huh? <laughs> Jake and I are merely cooperating on this investigation. We're putting the past to rest as it were. Nothing more than that. Oh good. Thank you. Officer Jake Marshall. Hmm. Miles! Okay, it's even busier here when, um, today than okay. it was yesterday. So that badger is fully life-size then. I forgot how tall it was. Yeah. Okay, the detectives are running around so fast they're blurring. Uh, I suppose that makes sense. A detective did get killed here, after all. So the evidence room, the scene of the crime. According to the pamphlet we got at the front door, at the front desk. Here it is. Yeah. She's like a kid in an amusement park. Oh no, that's a separate case. <laughs> oh, a real crime scene. Let's go take a look. Can we spray blood around here? <sighs> the badger's not lined head to toe in blood. Such a shame. Such yeah. A shame. Look who it is. So, uh, and it's next drunk time. Mick, uh, yeah, it's drunk man Mick Westaboo. So, next time we're going to be talking to Jake Marshall. See you guys then. See ya. Bye. Bye.